What is up everybody? Today we are looking at the short method of multiplication. Let's start. Okay, and we're gonna be looking at these two questions here. We've got a green chili challenge, 25 by 46, and we've got a red chili challenge, 87 by 30. And the 30 is gonna be the part that makes this a little bit more challenging than the green chili challenge. So the first thing we're gonna do is put our ones, tens, and hundreds, and then we're ready to put our numbers. So we've got 25 times 46. Put our equals lines, and I'm ready to start. Let's just make that a little neater. Here we go. So we can't answer this in one go. So we're gonna partition it, which means break it into some smaller questions. So we're gonna look at the bottom row. And let's take a look at 46, specifically the six, which is the smallest value of that number. And what I'm actually gonna be doing is multiplying six times 25, the top row. So this answer row is gonna be answering six times 25. And then I can look at the four, which is actually not just a four, it's a 40. And I'm then gonna do 40 times 25. So that when I add my six times 25 to my 40 times 25, I should get the total answer. Okay, now I'm ready to begin. So I'm doing six times 25, but again, that's quite chunky, so I can do it in small parts. And I'm gonna do six times five, first of all. And I'm choosing to do that because that's the smallest value. So if anything is bigger than 10, I can move it into the next column. So six times five is 30. And there we go, we have something bigger than 10. So I'm actually gonna put my three up here and my zero down there. Now I can do my tens column, six times my two, and six times two is 12. But don't forget this three here, I've got three tens I need to add on. So I had 12, now I have 15. I have nowhere else to go, so my whole 15 can go into my answer row. So the answer to six times 25 is 150. Now I'm answering 40 times 25. So I can't just do four times five and four times two because that's not a four, it's a 40. So to make my answer 10 times larger, I'm gonna put a placeholder, a zero in that column here. And that automatically makes my whole answer now 10 times larger. So now I can start and I'm gonna do four times my five and four times five is 20. So I'm gonna carry my two into this column and put my zero in the tens column. Last but not least, I'm gonna do four times two. Four times two is eight, plus my two is 10. Put the 10 in the answer column. Now a little tip at this point, make sure you cross out this two because we have used it, so we don't wanna add it to our answer by accident in a moment. Okay, now I'm ready to add up my total answer, so I put my equals line and I can begin. Zero and zero equals zero, five add zero is five, one add zero is one, and one on its own is one. So the answer to 25 times 46 is 1,150. Give myself a big tick. Okay, let's look at our second example, 87 times 30. So same thing again, I'm gonna lay out my numbers in their place value chart, and I'm gonna have my ones, tens, and hundreds on the top. And then I'm gonna partition my question into thinking about the zero and the three separately, times in them by 87 on their own. So the first question is zero, times 87, and the second one therefore would be 30 times 87, because we remember that this three is not a three, it's a 30. Now I'm ready to start, and I'm gonna do the smallest value by the smallest value, so zero times seven is zero, and zero times eight is also zero. That's a little funny, isn't it? So our whole row of answers it ends up with zero. Well, that is because zero times 87 is zero. So having this little zero here can look a bit more confusing, but actually it just means that first row will end up being the value of zero. Okay, let's look at our second row then. So I've got 30 times 87. Okay, so let's look at our second row. We have 30 times 87, but I want to start multiplying this three as a three. So to make my answer a 30, I'm gonna put my placeholder in place already because 30 is 10 times larger than three. Now I can just look at it as a three and I can say three times seven, and three times seven is 21. Carrying my two across and putting my one in my tens column. Then I can do three times eight, three times eight is 24. But don't forget this two, so it's 26. Cross the two out so we don't add it in the next stage. Put my equals line and I'm ready to add up. Zero and zero is zero, zero and one is one, six on its own, and two on its own. 
So there we go, the answer to 87 times 30 is 2610. Here are things to remember, always put your ones, ten, hundreds when setting up, partition the number and multiply the individual parts, and don't forget to put your placeholder on that second row, and then finally add it all back together once you've multiplied all the individual parts. So now it's your turn. Three questions here, have a go at answering them and put your answers in the comment section. So press pause on the video now, give yourself some time and put those answers in the comment section. I'm gonna mark them all. Okay, there we go. That is multiplying a two digit number by a two digit number. Hopefully this has been helpful for you. If it has, think about liking the video and subscribing to the channel. For now, peace out.